In a world bristling with easily accessible information and ceaseless connectivity, one might conjecture that myth would bow to the weight of fact. Yet it seems our modern age is not one of disbelief, but of misbelief, where the glaring glow of truth often tends so brilliantly that it blinds rather than illuminates. Here, amidst this perplexity of post-truth and alternative facts, conspiracy theories burgeon, not merely as a specter of misdirected paranoia but as robust narratives that shape our politics, our policies and penetrate our everyday discourse. These theories are not new seedlings in the garden of human thought, they are old vines that have twisted through history's trellis, often sprouting vigorously in periods of societal stress or scientific complexity. They provide not just explanations for the inexplicable but comfort for the discomforted, filling the chasm between what is known and what is felt. By examining history through the prism of these theories, we gain not just insight into what people think, but why they come to think it, and what it means for us all in an age where truth itself seems a contested territory. In the swell of human history, the seeds of conspiracy theories were often sown by the palpable fear of the unknown, nurtured in the shadows of ignorance, and sprouted in the soil of societal upheaval. The Roman Empire, with its dense tapestry of political intrigue and betrayal provides early examples. Whispers of poisoning, secret plots and betrayal were not uncommon in the corridors of power. Representing these ethereal threads through history such as Nero's alleged arson of Rome to the massacre of the Templars in 1307, one sees the cyclical bloom of these theories in times of crisis. In turbulent times these tales were not merely idle gossip, but served potent political purposes, steering public sentiment and justifying shifts in power structures. Conspiracy theories stand in the vast expanse between established knowledge and speculative assumption. They are, by definition, systems of belief that turn the probable into the improbable, driven by a schema that seeks connections where none ostensibly exist. The architecture of a conspiracy theory is not unsophisticated, indeed, its survival depends on its complexity and ability to resist simple refutation. Embedded within the human propensity to seek patterns, these theories often offer more emotionally satisfying narratives than those proposed by mainstream accounts, thus appealing to the skeptic in all of us, even if that skepticism is selectively applied. What July 20th, 1969, presented a giant leap for mankind, but also a fertile crescent for conspiracy theorists, who argued that the moon landing was a dramatic simulation by the US government designed to assert dominance in the space race. This theory taps into an undercurrent of mistrust in governmental institutions and highlights how technological advancements can outpace understanding and acceptance. Arguments against the moon landing, such as anomalies in lighting and shadows, the flag's movement, and the absence of stars in lunar photographs feed into a broader narrative of skepticism towards official records and scientific expertise. This case study not only illuminates the persistence of doubt in the face of overwhelming evidence but also exemplifies how conspiracy theories can serve as a litmus test for public trust in governmental and scientific institutions. The New World Order, or NWO, is a prime example of how conspiracy theories adapt to geopolitical changes. Emerging prominently in the late 20th century, this theory posits that a secretive power elite with a globalist agenda is conspiring to eventually rule the world through an authoritarian world government. This fear taps into anxieties about loss of sovereignty and individual freedoms, reflecting broader apprehensions about globalization and supranational entities like the United Nations. The NWO conspiracy is a mosaic of many older theories, encompassing fears ranging from the Illuminati to international bankers, and demonstrates the adaptability of conspiracy narratives to encompass contemporary global issues. MKUltra, the code name for a covert CIA mind control and chemical interrogation research program during the Cold War, is one of the few conspiracy theories grounded in truth. Officially sanctioned in 1953, MKUltra involved experiments on humans to develop drugs and procedures to weaken the individual and force confessions through mind control. 
The project's existence was later confirmed through investigations in the 1970s, fueling public paranoia about government overreach and the ethical limits of national security. MKUltra's legacy endures in the popular imagination, illustrating how governmental transparency and ethical missteps can breed a lasting mistrust that transcends generations. Despite scientific consensus, climate change remains a contentious issue, with conspiracy theories flourishing around its denial. These theories often portray global warming as a hoax perpetrated by scientists, governments, and environmental groups to control economic and policy decisions. Corporate interests, particularly in the fossil fuel industry, have been implicated in funding research and promoting narratives that question climate science, showcasing how economic incentives can drive the proliferation of misinformation. This manipulation of public opinion reveals the power of vested interests in shaping perceptions of science and policy, and the ease with which factual information can be contested by strategically crafted counter-narratives. The anti-vaccination movement exemplifies how conspiracy theories can directly impact public health. Stemming initially from a now-debunked study linking vaccines to autism, the movement has gained momentum through the advocacy of celebrities and the dissemination of false information via social media. This movement not only challenges the efficacy and safety of vaccines but also sows widespread public distrust in medical authorities and the pharmaceutical industry. The consequences of these theories are tangible and tragic, seen in the resurgence of diseases like measles and whooping cough, underscoring the real-world impact of conspiracy theories when they move from fringe beliefs to mainstream skepticism. Kanan represents the epitome of modern conspiracy theories, born and bred on the internet and characterized by its apocalyptic and cult-like elements. It suggests that a deep state cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles is being secretly battled by former President Donald Trump. This theory illustrates the role of digital platforms in accelerating the spread and acceptance of extreme ideas fueled by algorithms that promote content engagement over factual accuracy. QAnon's growth from a fringe internet meme to a political movement with real-world violence, such as the Capitol riot on January 6, 2021, highlights the dangerous potential of unchecked conspiracy theories in the digital age. The role of media in the spread of conspiracy theories is complex, acting both as a vehicle for dissemination and as a tool for debunking. In the digital era, the traditional gatekeeping functions of media have been bypassed, allowing conspiracy theories to flourish unchecked on platforms that prioritize engagement over truth. While some media outlets actively debunk myths, others propagate them, either unwittingly or for ideological or commercial reasons, demonstrating the dual role media plays in either quelling or fanning the flames of conspiracy. This dual capacity makes it imperative for media literacy to become a cornerstone of education, equipping individuals to navigate the murky waters of information overload. As we forge ahead, the challenge remains not only in combating these pervasive myths, but in understanding their allure and addressing the societal and psychological needs they fulfill. The persistence of conspiracy theories in the information age calls for a multifaceted approach, combining education, transparent governance, and responsible media practices to rebuild trust and promote a more informed public discourse. Conspiracy theories, with their deep roots and broad appeal, remind us that in our quest for truth, we must be diligent, discerning, and above all, compassionate towards those caught in the snare of misbelief. For in understanding the why, we might find the how in mitigating their impact on society.